Welcome back. Science and technology have changed the way the Army solves engineering problems. Supercomputers have brought speed, accuracy, and state-of-the-art designs. But what good is this problem-solving potential to forces on the front lines? Mary Cochran reports. Tele-engineering puts the power of a thousand experts at the tip of the spear. Forces on the front lines reach back to subject matter experts to get vital information quickly. A 24-7 operation at the Engineer Research and Development Center puts teams of highly specialized engineers and scientists on the command staff, providing analysis that could mean life or death for deployed troops. They called in, they ran across a bridge that had been damaged when the Iraqis re retreated. Uh, they called in. Within two hours, they were having movement across the bridge. A multitude of experts like structural engineers, geologists, or hydraulic engineers field questions and provide answers in real time. Pseudo dam breach analysis. The question was is if this reservoir were to fail, where would the water go? How deep would it be? And this is critical information to uh, the warfighters so they know where they can be safe from a particular flooding event if it were to occur. And this gives us an opportunity to put um, the research that's being developed within URTIC into a technology transfer to the field so they get the latest and greatest technology. This technology has a very human focus, used not only for military missions, but humanitarian ones. We had a request come in from the tsunami. They needed a way to get in supplies from different areas for the, the victims there. The roads were all damaged. They didn't know which ones were opened. We used our automated route reconnaissance kit, the ARC, for, to identify opened roads and bridges to allow the, uh, the shipments to come in. The demand for this engineering expertise is growing. The center fielded more than 2,000 requests last year. Mary Cochran, Vicksburg, Mississippi.